Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today we are going to quickly talk about why you think the project you're working on right now is the thing that you're going to be remembered for and why that's not really that important. Okay. A lot of us, when we start a project, there's this thing in our head, whether this is a book, a movie, a song, a whatever, a painting, it, it doesn't matter. When you are creating art, okay, what happens a lot of time is that you, and I think this is a lot to do with vanity or something. I don't know why else we would do this, but people start getting freaked out about, oh no, like, what if this is the only thing I'm ever known for? This has to be perfect. Oh man. Yeah. Like if, if this is the one thing I do, it's gotta be the best. So if you have ever done anything like this or said anything like this, just know that that's not true. You are going to make tons of things. And some of you were like, no, I don't think I have that many ideas in me. Have you had more than one idea like about a story your entire life? Have you? If you've had more than one idea, you will always have ideas. If you've only had one idea, that's my, my guess is, is that's because you just started listening to the ideas that come into your head and you just started taking this seriously. Okay. Um, some of you might be saying, but no, that's not true because like, um, I've had ideas, but they just weren't good. Okay. Your ideas are always good. It's what you do with them that makes them special or not. How many great ideas have you had that you never did anything with? Because you just like, hmm, like I'll, I'll get to it later once I, once I build my office, once, once the kids grow up. You guys have all had great ideas, okay? Ideas are there for creators to make something amazing out of, okay? And, and they're going to sit there. I mean, we could get into the logistics of people stealing ideas which doesn't really happen and um the universe moving ideas around which is definitely more likely the case of how that works but for the most part we always have ideas ideas are constant if you are open to hear ideas because a lot of the things that i see people do are the exact same things that people do in toxic relationships where they're like, oh, this is it. I can never do better than this. <sighs> this is my one chance at happiness. This is my one chance at success. It's all bullshit. You can have the stupidest idea in the world. And if you like put the love into it when you're creating it, it could be the greatest thing ever. Okay. So there are no bad ideas. There are just, I don't want to say lazy creators, but like there are no bad ideas. Like everything that comes to us is something that we can play with. You know what I'm saying? And it could be whatever you want it to be. But the thing that I really want to stress is for you to not freak out and think that you need to be like overcritical of what you're doing because this is going to be your legacy. No, it's not. All these people that you're thinking of right now, like these old dead fucking writers that are known for this one thing, they weren't known for that during their lifetime. There might be like an exception here and there, but for the majority of the people you're thinking of, that never happened during their lifetime. It was only after the scholars took or academia took their work and said, now this this is important. Nobody gave two shits during everyone's lifetime about the stuff they made. So who, who fucking cares? You're going to be dead when motherfuckers are discussing how fucking cool your shit is. 
maybe. Okay? So don't sweat that shit. Just make fucking awesome stuff. And why do I say awesome? Because you fucking did it. Don't be, like, beating yourself up. Like, you should never beat yourself up over art. That defeats the whole purpose of creating. Creating is an outlet. It is something that there are a few people in the world who are blessed enough to be able to see the world differently than others and are able to create things and are able to artistically make mundane shit beautiful. You are one of those people. So don't beat yourself up because like you you don't think you're doing a good enough job on something. You will know when it's done. And when you hear that, you have to listen to it. Don't beat yourself up. Okay? This this is a gift and you're doing great. All right? So, with all that said, <clears throat> let me know if you guys have any questions about that down below. Type hard. And um, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, um, I guess that would be the 1st of October, is um, the next Anarchy Crew writing Zoom. Um, so if you're a member, you can watch last week's Zoom. Um, if you are a Thank You Crew member, bump up to Anarchy Crew and you can go to this thing. So it'll be tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Join. Type hard. Keep buying my books. Links everything down below. And I will talk to you all later.